a quick summary of the topics we just covered one is a change in the method of depreciation can the method of depreciation once adopted is to be consistently applied a change in a method of depreciation is a change in accounting policy it can be done only if it is required by law if it is required in compliance with another accounting standard or if it is felt that the adoption of the new method would result in a better presentation of the financial statements if a method is changed we need to compute the actual written down value the book value of the asset under book value of the asset under the new method had the method been applied from year 1 with retrospective effect we then compare the actual book value with what the actual with what the book value should be if the new method is applied so we compare the actual book value of the asset with what the book value should be if the new method is adopted the difference is then adjusted through the profit and loss account if the book value is to increase we debit the asset account the credit profit and loss if the value of the asset is to be decreased then we debit profit and loss and credit asset account next we move on to revaluation of assets sometimes the value of an asset may have to be revalued valued again there could be an upward revaluation or a downward revaluation in case there is an upward revaluation the asset account is debited and the revaluation reserve account is credited an upward revaluation usually is not taken to be profit and loss account a new account a revaluation reserve is created if however after such an upward revaluation if there is a subsequent downward revaluation that is subsequently after having revalued an asset made the value of an asset higher if subsequently the value of the asset were to fall then we credit the asset account and we debit the revaluation reserve account to the extent that there was an upward revaluation previously any difference we would charge to profit and loss account if there is a downward revaluation of an asset which is passed to the profit and loss account so asset account is credited and profit and loss account debited if after a downward revaluation there is a subsequent upward revaluation of the asset in that case and only in that case we can debit the asset account and credit the profit and loss account to the extent that there was a downward revaluation of the asset previously any anything beyond that would be taken to revaluation reserve account change in estimate the the factors of computing depreciation which are estimated are the life of the asset and the scrap value of the asset the residual value of the asset it is possible that after some time after a period of usage we feel that the life of the asset the estimated life of the asset is actually different we we might arrive at a new estimate or a new scrap value in that case subsequent depreciation has to be adjusted we are we we ascertain the balance remaining depreciable amount and spread it over the new life in the method that is being followed provision for repairs sometimes we create a provision for repairs account where a total expenditure on repairs during the life of the asset is estimated and it is spread equally over the life of the asset so every year the profit and loss account is debited and a provision for repairs account credited with this equal amount actual repair expenditure which is incurred 
is debited to the provision for the price account. The idea behind this is to more or less keep a uniform charge on account of the tax. When the asset is finally disposed of, the balance in this provision account is transferred to the asset account.